Okay, y'all. Now I have for you a book called Epic Journeys, coloring book. The illustrations are by Jeff Easley, Larry Elmore, um, Ona Knutson, and Mark A. Nelson. That's a mouthful. So each one of them has done a section. The first section is Aura, Aurora's Fairyland Odyssey. This was illustrated by Jeff Easley. Here's a bio on him. The pages are perforated and they are basically one-sided. Is on the back of the page over here. It tells you what's on the right side. Great illustrations. I love that they have a little blib about what it's about. Here she goes under the sea to the Queen of the Mermaids. Now she's at the other side of the world. She met an enormous genie. Now she's on the high plains and the mystic mountains. Elven riders display their horsemanship skills. Her last leg of the journey was to the longest as Aurora joined the moon sprites for tea. The next section is by Mark A. Nelson. These are happy trails. Every fortnight, Wizard Wally, Hazel the Badger, and Chirp the Raven journey to the castle. The first stop is to hear the newest orchestrations by Duke Blaco and his forest notes. Awesome. Second leg of their trek brings them to Sig's farm where Hazel must feed her favorite a hick bee and anybody else who comes a hick bee and any others who come to the fence. Kind of interesting looking little creatures. Luncheon was most often taken at Stan's roadside food stand. And here's Stan's. Yum. Paperweight, nice thickness. The afternoons find them crossing the Trolls Bridge. All I can think of was Three Billy Goats Gruff. And the Troll family starts to waken and stir above as their day begins. So the paperweight, about 110. Nice paperweight. Just outside the castle, they stop to watch Professor Jeff V's puppet show which is full of heroic characters, monsters, history, and fun. The travelers finally arrive at the castle. They always meet an interesting mix of creatures, and a new adventure begins. Boy, that's some pretty interesting coloring. That's not going to be easy coloring. This is from Larry Elmore. This is Ivana the Enchantress. Ivana loved her life as a caretaker of Hearthwood Deep, a great ancient forest. She's lovely, isn't she? One beautiful sunny day, the keeper, the mysterious ruler of all caretakers, summoned her to his home. So she set off for the deep woods. She could feel those magical powers surge through her. I bet. He says, Ivana the Enchantress, she will be the ruler of all caretakers. He also told her that she would have three magical dreams that would teach her more about Earthwood Deep. The first dream was about all the creatures that flew. The next dream was the complete new world and veil itself as she swam down deeper into the water. In her third dream, it was night and the moon star shone brightly. She floated through the forest, even down into the ground, where streams of light flowed like rivers. She saw all the animals and insects that lived in underground dens, burrows, or holes. Though her dreams she had learned through her through deep was a beautiful, magical place. Love this third book. And the last 
part is by Dana Knutson. And this is Return of the Queen. Arlana began her travels to distant lands. Now she was returning to the place where her heart had always been. Arlana looked out her magical coach at the enchanted surroundings. Looks like a fun place, don't it? Arlana stepped from the coach and stopped at the gaze upon the great door of the castle and its symbolic feline crest. Her heart soared as she walked slowly along the pathway. They worship cats there, don't they? Passing through the courtyard, the eyes of the cat god statue seemed to follow Arlana as she continued on to the royal cha chamber where she had played as a young girl. She paused at the staircase and moved purposely towards her destiny under the watchful gaze of an exalted dragon. Sorry about the dogs. Arlana's future was then realized when she was crowned as queen of all cats before her many subjects. She promised to be an understanding ruler using much of her wisdom she acquired on her recent journeys. As she settled into her new role, she recognized another truth, that happiness is being home among your friends with all your cats. And then you got a color palette page, two color palette pages, and the end. Epic Journeys published by Kelm Books. Thanks, y'all.